Getting back to stock MIUI is not something that we do quite often, and it's definitely not something that we like doing on our phones. But sometimes you might need to have the latest firmware flashed onto your phones just to avoid bugs on your favorite custom ROMs. Or in the unfortunate event, you might need to take your phone to the service center and you know that they'll not accept your phone if there's a custom ROM on it. Or you might need to give it to someone who has no clue of what a custom ROM is and just to prevent nuclear attacks on your home, you have to flash MIUI. So whatever the problem is, this video is all about me telling you guys how to install MIUI onto your phones and coincidentally it also solves one of the biggest issues of my last tutorial video and that is with respect to the fact that you won't be needing any other third party tool or software to install MIUI onto your phones. You will however need to download the latest version of MIUI specific to your phone and also have access to the platform tools folder and also have access to your PC by the way and that is basically all you're going to need to get back to MIUI. Now, a quick thing to note here, this tutorial will only work if you have some kind of a ROM already installed on your phones, be it either a custom ROM or some other version of MIUI. Do not attempt to follow along if you don't have anything installed on your system partition. In that case, I would just advise you guys to get back to a custom ROM and then follow this video again. Alright, so with all those disclaimers and warnings out of the way, let's jump right into the video and we are going to start by downloading the latest version of MIUI ROM zip file that is specific to your phone and the region that you live in. And by the way, the download links to everything that I mentioned in this video are there in the video description. So make sure to check out all of them before you go about in the comment section and create a war. Now the website that I've been digging lately for downloading the latest MIUI onto my phone is this one right here, which is called Xiaomi Firmware Updater. Now there's one more thing that I forgot to mention here. Since we are going to flash the latest version of MIUI onto our phones, you don't need to worry about things like anti-rollback check or any of those other fail-safe protocols because we are not going to downgrade our phones and instead we are going to just upgrade our phones to the latest MIUI firmware. So we are good in all aspects I would say. So heading back to the website right here, we are going to jump straight into the download section and here in the search box, start typing the name of your phone or your device code name. Now you all know that I have the Redmi Note 10 Pro, but as you can see right here, if you have the same phone like me, you might get confused as to which one to select right here. Don't worry, let's select Suite and let's see what it does. Okay, so in this page, you'll see a whole list of ROMs that are specific to regions and or types. Now, another thing to keep in mind here is the type of ROM file that you're downloading. Since this video is all about flashing via fastboot, make sure you download the fastboot ROM file and not something that is labeled as recovery. So like I mentioned earlier, we are looking for the fastboot version of the ROM. So click on type to filter ROMs like so. And then in the list of fastboot ROMs, select the ROM file that applies specifically to your device and your region. In my case, this is the file that I'm going to download, version 13.0.5 for the Indian Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's click on the download link. And this right here is the final page where you need to be careful once again. Do not get confused by these two options because if you check carefully, this is the recovery version and the one below that is the fastboot version. So be very careful of what you're downloading and then finally hit the full ROM button like so to download our ROM zip file. Now while the ROM file is getting downloaded, let's download and configure our platform tools folder. I already have the folder downloaded onto my PC. So we are going to jump straight into the address bar like so, type in cmd and then hit enter to open a command prompt window. Next, we need to turn off our phones and reboot to the fastboot mode. So press and hold the volume down and the power button till you see the red fastboot text like so and then connect your phone to the PC using the same Type-C cable that came with your phone. Now in the command prompt window, type in the command fastboot space devices and then hit enter and then you should see a serial number next to fastboot indicating that our phone is all ready to receive further commands. Now let's quickly jump back and check out our ROM zip file. The file should be having this TGZ extension like so and if you can't see that for some reason, head over to the folder options like so and under the view tab, make sure that you uncheck this option right here that says hide extensions for known file types and then hit OK or apply, whichever works for you. Now first thing we need to do is extract the contents of this file and for this kind of TGZ file, I recommend using software like 7-zip which is absolutely free to download. So once you have downloaded and installed 7-zip onto your PCs, right click on the file right here, select 7-zip and then select the fifth option right here that says extract to suite in blah 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 all those things like that. Now after some time you should be having this folder right here and within that you should have this star file with the same name. So we are going to right click on this file and extract the contents and it's similar to the process that we did with the tgz file and now you should be seeing a folder that is containing the familiar rom bin files. 
All right, so the next thing to do right here is again sort the contents based on their type. And now take a look at the batch files right here. Don't these look familiar to you? Yes, because these are exactly the options that we got in our Mi Flash tool from our earlier video. The Mi Flash tool actually refers to these batch files when it's flashing Mi UI onto your phones. And now that you're aware of the process, you won't be needing that stupid Mi Flash tool again. So the file named Flash All is for flashing the Mi UI ROM zip file while keeping your bootloader unlocked. Flash all underscore lock is if you want to flash and relock the bootloader and flash all except storage is if you want to flash MIUI but also retain your internal storage data if you already had a previous version of MIUI installed on your phones. But this option is not at all recommended by me because I'm a strong believer of clean flash. You're on your own basically if you decide to select this option. All right, so I'm going to go with the flash all option. So drag and drop this file right over here into the command prompt window like so, and then hit enter. All the files will now start flashing onto your phone. So give it some good five minutes or so. And then finally, when you see your phone rebooting, this time you'll be greeted with me UI. So that was pretty much it for this tutorial and these are basically the steps that you need to follow to install MIUI onto your phones. I hope you found this video useful or at least entertaining in some way. So I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on a single upload. So this is me Rohit signing off, I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.